I biked by this building a ton. This is purely for myself. This is 10 Montia Street. We opened in August 1st, tenants moved in September 1st. Okay. To Bergona Unit 250. Okay. Yeah, um, our, our studios have been the most popular here so far. Uh huh. They started at around 1900, and effective those all flew. Now gotcha. up to 1950. I see. Uh, same finishes, and uh, you get pretty good sunlight here as well. Okay. We have open floor room throughout, see just on countertops, stainless steel appliances. Okay. And this is our interior courtyard, which mm -hmm. has been very popular here. Yeah. For good reason. People, I guess, prefer this versus the street. Yeah. Whoa, the hallways are so long. Okay. Oh, okay, this feels bigger. Mm-hmm. And you get great stuff here as well, as you can see. Mm -hmm. This one is 415 square feet versus the previous one, which was 400 square feet. Um, I currently live in a larger unit called number 711. 711. This is nice. That's nice. Yeah. Sweet. Which direction are we facing right now? That's this far. Is... Okay. Awesome. So I think for $150, this is definitely nice. Um, so sorry, tell me again the, the net versus the gross for this. For this one? Yes. This is $25.50. The net is $21.85. Twenty-five fifty and twenty-one eighty-five. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So to put things into perspective, mm -hmm. the pricing of this building is very out of whack. So for instance, there is another unit, another four hundred square foot unit on this floor for twenty-five hundred, facing mm -hmm. facing the street south. Yeah. But for the same price, you can get this facing north and it's larger. So the people who price this go by the square footage. They don't right. actually see what the units are facing. Gotcha. So that's why it's like I, this to me is underpriced because if you can get 400 square feet yeah. for 1950, this should be at least 2300 mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, because there's nothing ever gonna there's nothing that's ever gonna block your view. Yeah, true, 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 true. So you do get a little So they all have the same bathroom, right? Yep. Uh, like yeah, at least with this way, you get a separate. Oh, sorry. After you. On the left is our dog park. Uh huh. On the right is our garden. This is what I like to call the culture corner of the building. This is where you'll find our music studios, art rooms, as well as photography studios. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So. So, so if you want to like reserve a photography studio for a shoot, you, you can do that here. Or we have a music room with instruments as well. Uh huh. Thank you, brother. And obviously we have these cute goals as well for tenants um, if they want to rent them to work or hang up their art. Uh-huh. Kids room here. Uh-huh. Um, like, are, do those, are those at extra cost like when you rent them per hour or something? Or I don't know the exact pricing, but yeah, I think it's first come first serve, but yeah, there's a fee associated with that. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Workspaces. First floor is weights. Second floor is all the cardio equipment. Cool. Run up to the second floor just to view the cardio stuff. Uh huh. And then obviously, this is the squash board slash. Cool. We're, gonna, we're having art being brought in. Okay. Not sure when though, but. Uh huh. And then obviously, this is our main court. One that you saw when you first walked in. Uh huh. Yeah, 
mailboxes as well as package rooms. Mm-hmm. And that pretty much sums it up.